Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Beth Lambert and I am going to be a new third and fourth grade teacher in Missouri. It's a split class, so that means I have both classes together and I will have eight students total. So, this is day 12 of classroom setup and so we are almost done. Most of it is just finding homes for things and making sure that the room is picked up and ready to go. Unfortunately though, I do not have my other two student desks. Um, so I'm just gonna get the, the, my desks ready and then when I get them on Monday, I can just put their packets and planners and name tags on real quick. And it shouldn't be a big issue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we've done so far because we've been here for a little bit. So let me, um, let me show you. All right, so this is what I was working on before um, I left yesterday. And so these are just some cheap bins from Target. And yep. And I just did just like a clip art of lemon and lime and just put them on some cardstock. Um, he's showing you. And uh, I think that looks really good. Don't pull it off. Don't pull it off there, buddy. Keep it on there. And the next thing I did was I put this little lemon decor up on top. I just got this from Gordman's. And then I got this uh, classroom decor set um, from my mother-in-law. And so it just says believe and achieve. And then on the outside of the door, let me show you real quick. Guys, they redid the hallway out here. It looks really good. Let me show you. Door gets stuck. Okay. So this is the outside of my door. It just says hello classroom I thought I was putting something else here but I really just don't know what to put but yeah they just like the last two days have done this new coloring like this new painting out here and it's more of a peachy peach and then a gray and I think it looks really good and then um, like along the lockers they put the students themes the middle school and high school or students themes and then they um, put some decor up so yeah it looks nice so let me go ahead Flip you around here so you can kind of see. Um, so my goal for today is just to get my room clean and stuff taken to the car. So that's what we're going to work on now, and we'll see in a bit. All right, guys. So I can officially say that this is the last classroom setup video for 2019-2020. Woo! been a ride so um, I'm so excited I can't even help it it's gonna be a great year so I'm gonna start off with right here so I had four of those lemons that if you don't know what I'm talking about you can go back to day two or day three of setup and I talk about the lemons I got from Target and I pretty much just painted two of them lime green and um, sorry my son's messing with something um, to make them limes and I have my lemons so I just put them up there um, I know a lot of you have commented on my walls and why they're not painted or touched up at least and I am gonna work on that throughout the year we just didn't get to it this year um, you know over the summer so probably within the first week or so I'll try to find some that matches and just touch up because I know it hot glue on a wall that doesn't hold paint very well Probably isn't gonna hold like me taking off the um, hot glue remains anyway. So it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my room. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. This is the Puzzle Wars, and if you missed out on that video of me explaining what it is, it is just something I'm gonna use for sinners. And so. They can earn a puzzle piece and they can get the reward if they fill up their um, board. So, and I have all of them, all the pieces out. I've got the sticky, oh my gosh, y'all. I'm having a hard time with my nail. I'll try to hide it. So I have all the pieces here. I just need to get the Velcro dots, which I do have. I'm gonna save that for Monday and I'm just gonna put them on here and then as the kids earn them, they can stick them up there. This will be a day one um, anchor chart that I will make. And so we'll talk about what does it mean to have a clean area? What does it look like? 
to follow directions, quiet transition, and then what does it mean to be on task. So that'll be day one. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see. This is my alphabet, cursive alphabet, that is from the Ashley McKenzie on TPT. I'll make sure to link this down there too. Everything will be in the link below or the description below. Also, we have the schedule cards from her store. Customizable, you can go in there and edit however you like. The two curtain rods, one's gonna be for third grade, one's gonna be for fourth grade. They're gonna have weekly anchor, anchor charts and I um, just put these rings on there and I wasn't really sure how much these could hold and so I'm just gonna do weekly ones and then just move the weekly ones over to my rolly cart which I'll show you in a few. This is just my last little bit to do on Monday. Then coming to this wall, mindset board. So um, I'm going to try to find people um, in social studies and science who use uh, growth mindset to change their attitudes. And these are just signs I got from TBT. Or this, these three are just signs. This is something I made off of the free font. That will be linked down below. Then I have my class jobs, which I will talk about on day one. So lunch manager, librarian, line leader, hallway monitor, folder stuffer, pencil sharpener, tech maintenance, and organizer. And I will be doing um, class currency um, along with class dojo. So I'll make sure to go over what that's gonna look like. We have our turn in bins and return. I got a suggestion saying I should laminate these and then use the metal rings to hook them. And I don't know, I may change it. This will be used for box tops. If you are unaware of what box tops are, they are just the little pieces of like a coupon that is stuck on some name brand items that has a dollar amount that if you send in with a student, they can use that money for field trips and stuff. So if you have extra box tops in your house, take them to a school. I'm sure they'd love to have them. This is our mail system slash cubbies, PE shoes, books crayon boxes for art will go in there. Interactive notebooks will go in there. And then moving along this way, I have my rules. Life in fifth grade, Leslie made up these. I just read them for my room. I have a recess bucket. And then this top C's box or tub will go away. So he's fine, he's fine. Um, and then up here, I have my work hard, play nice, be kind. Kind of goes along with the rules and for sinners, this is gonna be what um, I'm gonna really reinforce along with the five rules. And then I have my alphabet, alphabet, woo wee, I'm ready for school to start. I have my numbers, my multiples, one through 10 over here, and then I have 11 and 12. Once we get to multiplication in third grade, I will show you what these can be used for. Um, we're gonna be doing some multiplication muscles. And I do have my lights that I got from Target. These are just outside lights. I did have two sets, but one um, burnt out, so I need to get another fuse for it. Um, I have my rolly cart that's a mess, but I have time to get that organized. I have my kidney table. This is probably the first time you guys have seen my kidney table cleared off. I'm pretty sure, so it's nice and neat and clean now. I do have my shelf back here. Um, if you don't know what that thing is, that is a rock salt lamp, and it's supposed to like calm you or something. Get up, like get rid of all the bad, like I don't know, bad things. Yeah, bad juju. That's what it's called. Um, and then I have. Let me just walk you back here. I didn't get to it, but it's on my list to do. I have labels made for these. And for my sinners, I have my two tablets, which were donated to me from Donors Choose, and then two extra cases, and then just binders, and stuff down here that I just need a place to be for right now. And so this is what it looks like. This is where I'll be sitting most of the time. My kids will not be watching Elmo, but I mean, they might. I don't know. And then I will have lamps on during the day. So I'll have my string lights on, and then I'll have this double light on, which I just need to get a new light bulb for that. And then moving this way, 
I have my clock, which has all the time labels on there, along with my supplies, which I need to make a um, like labels for, along with a pencil sharpener, a bottle of um, hand sanitizer, and then the Kleenex is behind there. Um, I do have these crates that were sitting like over here, and I would like to make some seats for them. So, but it's, I'm just not going to have them on the first day. It's going to be probably the second day after, probably Friday, I'll have them done. So, just have to wait to see. It's going to look really cute. Best class is where the homework is, or best work is going to hang. Um, and then I have my third and fourth grade. Got these from ooh, Hobby Lobby. Like, I think the big ones were $7.99 and little ones for $2.99, I think. And then I just got these frames from Walmart. They're just the super cheap kind. And so every month I'm going to be putting, taking a picture of the kids and um, having them write something. And so it's going to be like the end of the year gift for me. This area right here is my safe seat area, but you really can't tell because Ari likes to use that to eat on. But that is where safe seat will be. I have my beautiful filing cabinet. My husband got all of the handles on. One is wonky and won't go on straight. So, but it's like where the games are. So I think that's where it'd be fine. But there is a video that goes into detail on how we accomplished that. It's just comp contact paper. And yeah, just a little bit of paint around the edges, but there's that. We're going to get to my desk. And remember what I told you in the last video that um, my desk is only clean first day of school, Christmas, and the last day? Well, I, it was clean the last time, but it's just is what it is right now. But I have my school calendar here, Bulldog News with the lunch menus, and then birthdays. Yes, it'll get moved over, I promise. And then all my storage back there, which I did redo. So I had like upper elementary books on the very top shelf and I just replaced them with the science materials and dictionaries up there. And then come like down stacked a tub of the leveled readers. So that's what that is. I have my monthly board. So every season I will change it up. So if you have a good cute saying I could use, just put it down below. I really like that. I think it looks cute. Then I have my door. So that's what the kids will see every day when they exit my room. They'll see believe and achieve. Um, and then this is just a pile of stuff that's going to my car on Monday. So the car is full right now. And then coming over to my library. Same day that we did the filing cabinet, we did these. And so there's a video for that, and I have it. It looks so good. And then I have my noise levels, along with my reading and writing um, bulletin boards. And I do have, I think I'm gonna start off with parts of speech, and so I do have posters there. Um, I just ran out of ink, so <laughs> go figure. So I'm waiting on ink to come, and then those will be up, hopefully by Monday. And then my rolly cart is done with my apron. I'm so excited. Um, and then we have the flag. And you may have noticed that there is now a new white wire thing coming down on my wall. And that's because it has had to string it for internet for my student computer, which is here. It's up and going. And Ari is so happy because he can watch Elmo or Paw Patrol. So, and then the last thing is the goals. And so I will be doing goals the first day. Um, I will be having the kids write their planners the first day. So it's just to get them into habit. So um, I will show you how I'm going to do those later. So I think that's it. I'm still waiting on two student desks. But I'm just gonna have a pot of four here, a pot of four here. And clearly our stuff is sitting on there right now, but i um, going to have those. And yeah, I think that is it, guys. So, 
I am so relieved to be done. Now clearly I just have to clear off my desk and get some stuff up to my car, but that will take absolutely no time at all. I do think that um, we will be given extra time on Monday for sure, I think, um, to be in our rooms to get ready for open house. And then Tuesday, we'll have some time to get ready for the first day. So I'm not really worried. I am think I think it's gonna be good, it's gonna be a good year. Um, I know a lot of you have commented on like how old is our building and um, just like the history of it. So I'm not really sure, but I think, I know there was a fire at one point and they had to rebuild. So I think this is the second version of the building. Um, but someone asked, they wanted, they wanted a tour. So I'm going to ask to see if I can do that. And I would like to do a Q&A. So anything you would like to see or ask me, just put down below your questions and I will get to them. Um, I am going to do tonight, I will put up a scholo the Scholastic video and my teacher journey will probably be up Tuesday. So um, I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I scratched myself. That's like the third time in this series that I have done that. Just up and scratch myself. Um, so if you would like to see more, please make sure that you like the videos and subscribe and then ring the bell anytime, you like, anytime I upload a video. So thank you so much for the support. I think I'm at like 200 and almost 280 subscribers. I like to get to 500 by October. I hope I can get that far. So make sure you share with your friends and I will see you guys in the next one.